today is very special. It's about the best dad in Nintendo, not Nintendo itself. That That's its own parenting entity that like it's doing something. But there is a character in Nintendo that is very well known for being one of the best dads in media. Bowser, we are here and it's Bowser Day and I don't know why. Why is it Bowser Day? Can anyone explain that to me? This is why Bowser Day is today. Fourth day of the month, August 4th or 8-4 and Bowser is originally fought on level 8 Four in Super Mario Bros. Yeah, that makes perfectly good sense to me. There you go. I mean, it's it's neat. I, I do like that idea. I think it's clever. It's very clever. So for those that haven't seen it, a couple of days before Bowser Day, actually literally just yesterday, this was posted, it was a little Bowser Day etiquette post talking about how there should be a separation between safe for content and not safe for content. And it wasn't just talking about it. It was more so like, hey, this is how we're separating it. These hashtags here for safe for content, these hashtags here for not safe for content. And it goes as such. For this year's Bowser Day, we should make sure everyone has fun and finds exactly what they are looking for, whether it's porn or just some cute Bowser art to look at. If you do content in celebration, be sure to tag your Twitter post with the following hashtags, depending on the type of content. This way, people don't accidentally encounter with these spicy pics, and those who want can find it more easily. It's a win-win Koopa scenario, exactly. It's a win-win. But this is again the situation of trusting people on the internet. The way I see it, if I were to look at the, the, the sort of artist who wants to grow their brand, their artistry, their, their, their whatever on the internet. They look at this and like, oh, this is cool. Ooh, these are some hashtags that I can use to promote my stuff. I'm just going to post whatever in both of these hashtags. Like that's, that's the way, unfortunately, Twitter works. The more hashtags you put in, the more likely people are going to find your stuff that have never heard of or seen you before. So these hashtags, unfortunately, open the doors to just anyone posting anything. And I refuse to scroll down to this post because I know how this is going to go. But still, the whole, the whole sentiment behind Bowser Bowser Day here with separating safe work and not safe work content. I like the sentiment, but this is Twitter.com where everyone wants to become little Nas X, okay? Everyone, me included, just a little bit. Man, I wouldn't mind if the song that I made popped off on TikTok and made me millions of dollars. I don't think anyone would mind that, to be honest. And, and honestly, like, the etiquette here is definitely appreciated, because even me, who does like seeing, you know, spicy pics from time to time, sometimes you just really want to see regular Bowser pictures. I I'm talking, like... Me on Tumblr when I was looking at older pics of like, like Sully from Monsters University and, and like all these other things that I enjoyed, like Digimon art of like Gumdramon, Vmon. I wanted to see it, but holy shit, I didn't always want to see, yep, cock. I, I didn't want to see that at all. So like this whole like thing of like putting an etiquette or separating safe work from NSFW content, I enjoy that. But again, Twitter doesn't work this way. And so we have a plethora of images to look through. Also, apparently Bowser Day 2021 is trending courtesy of my friend Sunny. They're just like, oh yeah, come on y'all. Super Mario fans share art celebrating their favorite video game characters. Mass <laughs> massive cock on August 4th as Bowser was originally fought on level 8-4. <laughs> I mean, whoever's in charge of, of the trending captions on Twitter isn't wrong. I just wasn't expecting to see them be like, yeah, or se they're celebrating their favorite video game character's massive cock on August 4th. But at least it's the honest truth. I appreciate that. I think it's the point where we should go over some of the good old Bowser Day pictures or just the art pieces that, that a bunch of artists have posted. Pictures that I've picked and chosen about Bowser that artists have made today. And I think they're going to be pretty good. I mean, Obviously, they're going to be safe for work because I don't want to play Russian roulette with my Twitch account. Admins and owners of Twitch and whatever they are, I don't know what they're called. They do not like furries, especially the buddy motes, especially those buddy motes. But either way, we've got a lot of picks to go over with Bowser and we've got a lot of appreciation to show the Koopa Dragon Turtle thing. But let's go over some Bowser, shall we? Oh, this is a good start. OK, we've got a long way to go here. Look at all this fucking Bowser. Oh, my God. So many tabs, my RAM is probably about to set on fire by the amount of Google tabs. I'm not clicking on any of these hashtags, by the way. This is how you play Russian Roulette with your Twitter account. Bowser. Look him. What a great start. Intimidating, scary, big boss of the Super Mario franchise. Wonderful, wonderful boss wonderful dad but also just very intimidating this is this is kind of the impression that they went for with bowser he's obviously the villain the villain antagonist whatever you call it i kind of like how they still draw him as intimidating as he is like obviously he's become more like soft-hearted and more of like a good fatherly figure and more of just like kind of an annoyance to the protagonist which is mario in in you know nintendo's franchise but it's just like i don't know 
I kind of like the the old appreciation of him being big and scary. And I know there was the whole thing of like Bowser's Fury, Bowser's Furry, the game, whatever you call it. But like, I, I still appreciate OG big and scary Bowser. Probably like the scariest I've seen Bowser was his ultimate smash in Smash Bros. Brawl. That is probably the scariest I've seen Bowser. And you know what? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. But either way, good good Koopa, Turtle, Dragon Dad, amazing Bowser. I agree. 10 out of 10, Isaac. 10 out of 10. More Bowser. Ooh, I like... Okay, okay. So this... This was the Kill a Kill styling that I saw for Bowser for this art piece. Don't think I'll have time to finish this, but a whip. A few days ago, I decided to draw Bowser in the style of Kill a Kill. First off... Kill a Kill. Underrated anime. I mean, not really underrated. It's just a great anime. I enjoyed it. First anime that I watched that got me into the whole, uh, I don't know, genre enjoying. Yes, I'm doing that, okay? I'm simping. But, just saying, Bowser in the Kill a Kill style? It's pretty good. Who knew that it would work? I like it. Bowser looking pretty good. I appreciate it. On to the next piece. Aww. This is adorable. Look at that. What a good, see, this is literally mine and Vince's relationship. Even though like Vince Wolf is not my dad at all. He is not my biological father. However, the relationship that we got is just like me giving him like a, a cute picture of like best dad or giving him like a, a number one dad mug for Father's Day. And it's just like, I, I, this still melts my heart. I love their relationship. The father son relationship is so, so sweet and adorable. I love it so much. And look at little like, like Oh, being such a good son and he's just so touched as I, I just love everything about this I know I'm literally describing what the art piece is about when you can literally look at the art piece but but still I just I love it it's adorable okay I just want to appreciate how just Bowser Jr. is a good son but also Bowser is just a good dad and I feel like he doesn't give himself enough credit for being a good dad being a single dad too nonetheless it's just some of the small things that, you know, just make it so much better. I love it. It's adorable. Ooh. Has Bowser been in this whole, this thing before in one of the games? I don't know. Maybe he has, maybe he hasn't. But still, a nice cute little sketch of Bowser being just evil. He's, he's doing something. He's ready to go to something. He's on his way. He's on his way to something. And I don't like it. <laughs> but anyways. Ooh. Ooh, I like this. What's the difference? Corporate wants you to spot the difference between these two. It's the same picture. I swear to God, it's the same picture. No, no, it's it's literally the same picture. I mean, I still love this. I still love the picture of Bowser. Who knew that I could appreciate Bowser just a little bit more? This is nice. I like him. He looks determined. That's that's the word I'll use. Determined in his own little way. There's a Dr. Mario Bowser? A Dr. Bowser? That's cute as hell. I mean, I trust him. Look at how well-dressed he is. I mean, obviously, it's just like red pill or blue pill. I take the blue pill. Goodbye. I haven't seen this one before. I'm assuming that this is from the, the new sort of remake, but also new golf game that they have on the Switch. The Mario Golf. Is this an actual thing? I like it. I love the vibes he's got going. Kind of Guy Fieri-esque, you know? And of course, you can't go wrong with Bowser about to be married. Who knew he'd look good in a top hat like that? I didn't. I'm glad he does. Also, how the hell does he get his clothing on underneath his shell? Does he take off his shell? How does he get his shell off? Has that been confirmed? Has that been shown? I don't know. I don't really want to know fully, but like, how does that work? How does that work? Am I just overthinking this? I'm probably overthinking this. Either way. That's Bowser. Original Bowser picks. I want to see more. <laughs> You know, you know, I, I, I feel like Bowser has, has some of these feelings sometimes. What is playing in the back for music? This is what it's like to have a cobalt. If you have not played D&D, if you have not ever experienced what a cobalt is like, this is what it's like. This is your face after experiencing a cobalt or when you're currently experiencing a cobalt, regardless of what you might want. Though I will admit that that Bowser Jr. does give off like cobalt vibes. I never really thought about it that way. I guess he does. But eh, you know, you can't always be a, an amazing positive dad. Sometimes you have to be a bit angry or annoyed. If that's just human emotion or Koopa emotion, I don't know. But still, he's taking it well. Oh, <laughs> that's adorable. <laughs> that's just adorable. Oh, man, I love these two. Next. Ooh, but yeah, Bowser on a beach. Just vibing and chilling. I appreciate it. Look, he's still fashionable when he's on a beach, okay? I don't really know what else to say. It's just Bowser. Bowser. 
Dad juice? Oh my god, I love it already. Look at that, he's drinking dad juice. It's probably, honestly, it's a Bud Light or it's a PBR. <laughs> he's drinking dad juice and he's wearing a polo and he's got a bit of scruff. He really is like the ultimate dad material. Not daddy material, dad material. Y'all are thirsty. I am too, it's okay. What is this? I don't remember cooking all this. This isn't even just dad vibes. This is just like, he just wants you to be happy. I'll come kiss you and make you feel better. This is just someone that wants you to be happy. This just went from dad vibes to just like complete like innocent like, please don't be sad. I'll kiss it to make it feel better vibes. It, look at him. I love this. Oh, he's just being a supportive fella. Exactly. See, you can't say no to this face. You just, you can't. You also can't say no to this face. God damn. Also, it works. A humanified version of Bowser. It seriously works. I like it. He looks good humanified like this. Looks like an emperor. He looks good. It looks like a human version of Bowser. I like it. I still appreciate the golf attire. That looks, it looks good to me. You can't say no to that smile. He's genuinely happy. He feels impressed. He feels happy about himself. And you know what? He deserves to be. Oh, this was the Guy Fieri per picture that I saw. Look, Guy Fieri Bowser. I kind of just saw the flame shirt. I'm like, yeah, this is Guy Fieri Bowser. Now that's a Tom. Shh, listen, listen, listen. I'm, I'm focusing more on the Guy Fieri aspect of it. And now he's literally wearing wearing Guy Fieri's attire. To an extent, he doesn't really have the sunglasses on his head. And he's not talking about diners, drive-ins, and dives. And not talking about how it's like, I've really gained an affinity for vegetables recently. I really enjoy vegetables now. But this is just, honestly, this is Bowser at the beach, or wherever he is in the middle of the desert, with a nice thing of ice cream. Don't know why he's all the way out there with a nice big thing of ice cream. Don't ignore the tum. I'm not ignoring the tum. I'm focusing specifically on the tum, but I'm not talking about the tum because I don't want you guys to think that I'm horny. But yeah, Guy Fieri Bowser looks pretty good. It's a good contribution for the day. Oh. Oh, this is just a little video that I just wanted to show of, like, Bowser just doing his thing. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. He doesn't look ready. That's not Bowser art, but it is Bowser and we can't appreciate him. He's probably just being as responsible as he can. Now that's a Tom. <laughs> I mean, look at him. He's just a big dude trying to be big. I like it. I don't know why I clicked on this one. I think it's it's very iffy, but it's still like, look at him. To be fair, this is no worse than us playing Tribal Hunter. Wait a minute. Is anyone seeing some comparisons here? I don't know if it's just because of the color palette that I'm looking at, but like you got Munch from Tribal Hunter. The, the the, the, the furry inflation vor eating game that we played before. That was a platformer and you got Bowser in this picture from a platforming game that doesn't really eat things, but just breathes fire. But Munch breathes fire. You know, I can see it. I can absolutely see it. I mean, I don't know if it's just because I'm looking at the color palette here, but I can absolutely see it. And it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing at all. But hey, you know what? Bowser Day, I appreciate that a lot. I appreciate this. I appreciate the tum specifically, but that's a later thing. Oh, this is cute. I just kind of saw this cute picture. Also, artist follows me on Twitter. I didn't even know that. It looks like Friday Night Funkin' style. Now that I'm looking at it, it looks like it. But in this picture, it kind of looks like Friday Night Funkin' stylized Bowser. Bowser Mon and Friday Night Funkin' when? I'd be up for it. I'm waiting for it to happen. You better make it happen. Ooh. Aww. This <laughs> Aww. That's adorable. I love this. This, first off, this looks traditional, and it's probably a traditional art piece. Second, look at this. This is just Boat Dad. <laughs> boat Dad. I love it. You just got Bowser, who's just like, I'm going to be the nice... I'm going to be the nice dad. I'm going to be the dad of the year here. And I'm going to be the boat dad for my son who wants to be a pirate. That is just adorable. And he's just vibing. He's not even like angry that this is happening. It doesn't, he doesn't even look annoyed. He just looks like, yeah, I'm doing this. Oh, oh my God. Also, I broke my mic there. Very, very much apologize for that. Look at him. It's me. It's more Meowser. Look at him. Like, just this is adorable. He's just enjoying being a cat. I love it. Also, I love his hair too. Like low key, his hair is a uh, Meowser. 10 out of 10, love it. But just, you, you can't not appreciate him. Look at him. He's just, even if you might be like, ew, furry cringe, like he's just enjoying his life. He's happy. He likes the little bell collar. He likes being a cat. Let him live his life, okay? Let him live his life. And he's at a carnival too. I could say no to him having fun there. Meowser, I love him. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, we found the Sky Fox art piece. Happy Bowser Day. <laughs> he caught you looking. I mean, I'm, I've been doing nothing but looking. Sky, why do you gotta do this to me? On Twitch.tv. All the time, okay? You do this to me all the time, and I just, I, I, you can't keep doing this to me. As is, I appreciate golfing Bowser. But from this angle, and whatever, like, whatever detail Sky is putting into it, it's, it's going even further beyond. <laughs> All right, more Bowser picks. Here, here is your daily reminder that Bowser is a good parent and worries about what Bowser Jr. is exposed to on his Nintendo Switch. He's being a good parent. He's a good dad. He's genuinely looking out for his son. So this is just your daily reminder that Bowser is the best dad. Even if he might be morally eh, eh, evil, he's still a good dad. I mean, you could make that argument for like literally anyone, but that doesn't even do anything. Ooh, I like this. I like him. Look at Chunky Boy. Chunky Bowser. I love it. Look at him. Look at him. This is adorable. I love this. Look at him. I just want to give him a big hug. Or rather, I just want a big hug from him. Like, I know he's supposed to be evil or like a dad or somewhat pissed off or whatever. But like, I just want to, I just want a big hug from him. I just want like a big hug from him. That's all I could ask for. And he's just, look at him. I mean, I can't help but look at him. All you can do is look at him. But this is just me, like, melting a bit, just with how cute he is. All right, last pick of Bowser, and then we'll wrap up this uh, Bowser day with thoughts and opinions, as usual, because everyone cares about that. Aww, King's Day off. Okay, maybe the, the gif in the bottom right is a bit... We're just gonna... Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're just gonna... There you go. There you go. Look at that picture of Bowser. Look at him go. Oh, my God. He is adorable. He's just enjoying his day off by the poolside. King's day off. I'd say it's a dad's day off. That is that is the smile of, of someone that is just enjoying their life. Either way, Bowser Day. Unnecessary for it to be a big thing, but it gives me something to do. And I'm gonna be honest, I'd rather talk about this rather than some furry drama that happened on the internet where, like, someone just said pee-pee-poo-poo head and then it was over and, you know, it was awful, whatever. I don't know. The point is, I really cherish this stuff because, like, I don't really, like, I'm not a big fan of Bowser. I'm not a big fan of, like, certain franchises, but some people just simp the fuck over certain characters. And I don't get it. So when holidays like this come up, not really holidays, but, like, days of celebration like this come up, I'm usually like, why? What is the big deal? And then I remember, oh wait, artists know how to make things hot. And so we have days like this where I can just look through art, where I can look through characters, and I'm just like, oh, I kind of see what they're getting at for why this character is great. And that's pretty much, uh, that's pretty much my consensus. This goes for like any sort of day that's dedicated to a certain fictional character or some character in a certain universe. That's just what it is. I just enjoy seeing good tumps. That's real. That's it. I just like seeing the good tumps. That's it. Happy Bowser Day.